Hello and welcome to ChiefTutor.com training videos and Chief Architect. I had a um, user email me a couple of pictures and was asking about ceiling treatments and how to build them properly. So I'd like to show you a couple of quick and easy ways to build unique ceiling treatments and get the area of the ceiling exactly the way you want. And uh, what I've gone ahead and done is I've drawn in a little house here. There's no special things other than I have some windows and an opening. Let's go ahead and take a camera view of this area so you can see. It's set at the default, a uh, nine foot ceiling. It's got some windows in it as well as a door pass through. What we'd like to do is uh, focus specifically on the ceiling and treating the ceiling. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I'd like to do is I'm gonna copy pretty much this exact same pattern and draw this pattern in this room. So how I would go about doing it is I would use the CAD tools. First thing I would do is I'd select the room and I'd make it a polyline. You can also right click and choose make room polyline and you'll see it draw a line around the entire room for us then I'm gonna hold down the C on the keyboard the C key and grab one of the corners and move it in about yay far I just want to get kind of a border in between from the wall to the first start of the opening and I can go in here and measure and get it exactly the way I want and sometimes that's the smart thing to do. But hitting the C would have done it for us automatically. It would kind of generate it inside the border the way we like it. Okay, so I'm going to select it one more time, hold down C, and just take it into about 1.3 it looks like. There we go. Okay, the next thing I'd like to do is find the center line of this square. So I'm going to go to my CAD tools and using my CAD lines, if I run my cursor across the CAD lines and your object snaps are on, what it'll do is it'll tell you when you hit the center of that line. And there it is. You can see it turns to a triangle. And there again, I got it again and again and again and again. So I'm just trying to draw a map there for myself. Okay, then I'm going to go back to the square tool and I'm going to kind of zoom in here and I want to build a square and there we go I have a square over the existing area and by selecting it I'm going to go to the cut tool and I'm going to come in a bit and cut it and bring it back a bit and therefore I want to make sure that from the center it's still got the same distance going across so let me uh, straighten up these lines here I got one three going this way which is great and then I need one three going that way so in order to do that again I'm gonna select this edge click on the dimension type in one foot three inches hit enter and now it adjusts okay so um, now what I'd like to do is I'm going to delete these dimensions because I don't really need them and I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna just adjust to make sure that his line ends up with the line around that's a little, a little cleaner for me there okay so now I'm going to um, let's say why don't we copy this in place and I'll take this one I'll move it over a bit and using the triangle I'm gonna spin it around here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my point to point and we shall point it in the corner here to be attached to the corner there scroll back and sure enough hey it looks pretty good so now I want to select both of them so we can finish it off here select both of these bad boys I'm gonna again I'm gonna copy right in place and using my triangle I'm gonna spin it right on around looks pretty good and then I'm just gonna adjust eyeball adjust these to my pattern and basically what I'm doing is I am creating the outline of the ceiling treatment I want to use now also notice that I need some distance in between each box so I'm gonna just again just eyeballing it and you can use the little squares obviously to count uh, if you want to get it super accurate but for this purpose you can kinda see that I'm just eyeballing things here and I might wanna pull that back a little bit and I'll show you a couple of tricks which Chief has built in to help us with this scenario so just pulling things back here, trying to get the right pieces to go back. Uh, yep, that's it. And what I'll do is I'm going to line them up with that. And let's say I want this one a little bit more 
that might be too much for me somewhere right about there then I want to line that side up with that and see if I just take my cursor and drag it and attach it to that it will go and align up with whatever line you want it to line up with so it looks pretty good um, this side looks like it needs a little bit more but again I'm not gonna worry about it. now I'm gonna just get rid of my CAD lines on the middle because I don't really need it and I'm gonna zoom in here and I'm gonna notice I got my four pieces that I need now I don't really need the outside border anymore so I'm gonna delete that as well so now I just have the four pieces in the middle okay so let's get started making the ceiling what I'm gonna do first again is I'm gonna click into this room I'm going to make it a polyline and then I'm going to use the conversion tool the convert polyline click on it and let's make it a countertop that'll work the best I think for first off click OK now I'm gonna set my height to the height in the room which is 109 and an eighth I'm just gonna call it 109 hit tab and I want it to be six inches thick my ceiling treatment click OK okay so let's take a little look at what we just did basically you'll see the ceiling uh, countertop piece that you made and it's raised up to hit your ceiling height I'm gonna double click it real quick go to my materials and I'm just gonna change it to like a bone color just for now just so we can understand it's a ceiling thing not a countertop thing okay then I'm gonna take all four sides of my CAD lines selecting them all by holding down shift and selecting each one I can now convert them all at once to a countertop click OK and I'm gonna call it a hole in the countertop and click OK and then I'm gonna go back to my camera tool and we'll take a look and see what we did and you can clearly see now how it's taking shape and making it look just like that image okay so the next thing we need to do is probably add that molding the trim molding that's there so let's go ahead and do that well it's not a lot of hard work because we already have our holes cut out so what I'm gonna do is again I'm gonna select all my countertop holes that I've made and I'm going to copy and paste them right in place and then I'm going to convert them down and then I'm gonna convert them up and again this time we're gonna call them a 3d molding polyline <clears throat> and click OK now what I've done is I've created the same shape to be molding without a fear, uh, interfering with the openings because I've copied it okay so now that I've selected my molding I'm gonna select my particular molding that I want and let's go in here let's get a crown molding that might look fun how about like that and again I want to make the height six I'll make the width five doesn't really matter and I want to say to the top of this molding it should be 109 click OK and then I'm gonna to go to my camera view and let's take another look and bada boom bada bing we've made our molding and I'm gonna go ahead and just paint the molding a little whiter color <clears throat> maybe grab the drywall color on the wall paint the ceiling that <clears throat> then what I'd like to do is maybe work on that other picture so we have this picture now and it, it lines up pretty well we got the crown molding in there and of course this is only just a few inches I had done six for a more dramatic effect we can hang a light in the middle or I can hang lights on either side But let's go down here and we'll see that there's also a beadboard recessed which is very easy to do at this point because we've set up our uh, ceiling material here and we can just apply anything we want to it so let's do that go to the full color view here and I'm gonna to go to the spray can <clears throat> and I'm gonna wait about a half an hour for it to open <laughs> I'm gonna hit this tool right here add new material now you'll notice that I put the beadboard material on chieftutor.com's website this one you're watching right now if you're on chief tutor just scroll down you'll see this uh, <coughs> um, image down below where you can download and put it on your computer and simply hit the texture file navigate to where you put it on your computer mine's over here click open and then what I can do is I can go to my pattern and I can find a pattern like strip that sounds good and I'll need to change it to 90 because I need to match the texture so that's all good that's all good I'll say set material using texture and I'll call it DMDZ's bead board bonanza 
Okay, click OK, click OK, and I'm simply going to apply to the ceiling. There we go. It's simple as that. As well, remember I was saying you can add your own lights to it. Just remember where you're adding lights to. For instance, this is a, now a countertop, this shape here. So the light fixture will not attach itself to that. <coughs> so we have to modify the light fixture just a bit. But for the rest of the ceiling, it should work just fine. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to hit my light source, and I'll just plan in four lights on each pattern. And then let's go to the camera view and take a look. And there we go. We have nice four new lights. We can even use the texture and say, hey, I need it to be a little bit wider. So I can go to the Advanced tab and just turn up the Emessive file. Click OK. Gets a little brighter, a little bit more in tune which is nice. Also I'm going to go to tile this screen vertically and show you if you did need a light there it's not uh, hard at all basically you just take your light fixture again and if I put it in now it'll attach it into the ceiling you can see it kind of let the light out remember I left that eighth of an inch which was nice too so you can create that effect for your ray trace or you can simply open up your light fixture and it has an offset from the ceiling I'll put six point say seven five just drop it down just below six and bada boom bada bing it appears just like that so it's pretty easy straightforward stuff to do I hope you learned something new and enjoy that's been messing with ceilings here at cheaptutor.com